Hi friends, we will be working on our uh, TTK bootstrap. This is a theme extension of uh, our Kinter. So here you can see we have around uh, 18 radio buttons. So by changing to any radio button, by selecting one radio button, we can change the theme. Different different themes we have used. So based on the whatever that we selected, the theme will be applied. And there are some wizards are there, buttons, outline buttons, then the meter, then uh, flog our uh, Flood gauge and all everything we have some sample uh, wizards are there and on this we are applying our theme you can see even this button colors also keeps on changing based on the was this light based on the whatever theme we pick up so we'll learn how to do this we'll start from here we have here at the first line imported a TTK bootstrap then all the constants we are importing because we will be using it then this is the window what we have created and this is what we are the size of the window we are telling so we are saying width and height so you can change it whatever it suits you so then this on this window what's our intention is to give a selection to all the users to change the theme and some sample widgets will place it and we'll see how this theme applies to that and how the look and feel changes there is no uh, functionality change in that we are all going after the look and feel how this changes now for that two things we'll do first let's pick up what are the themes available for that so my themes is a variable so this will hold a uh, list actually my themes equal to my underscore w my underscore w is my parent window at line number four we are declared it then style then theme name theme names fine here it is so now i got a list of themes available why i am doing this is now let's say list of because this is in, the, in our system if you are in a different os or different library you are using then this way you can pick it up so what happens that you need not manually select what are the themes you are going to use it because we want to know what are by default the themes are available even we will learn also how to create your own theme we will see that later so this is what the, we got a list list of themes available now what will take one more thing we will do we will take it what is the current theme so for that let's first think uh, we'll print one value we'll say my underscore w then style then we'll say theme huge now this we are what we are get printing to our console is the what is the current theme in use now let me just uh, save it and run one see the console here at the bottom you can see this is the one this one you can see here this is the one which is coming up now I am closing the window there is no point now one thing is though it printed me the what is currently used it is a what is the list actually we want to that also let's see so what I am doing print my themes so just above this is a list what you have uh, collected so that list we are trying to print it so we will get a list of 19 here you can see this whatever I am getting it here 19 uh, uh, sorry in, uh, around 18 I hope 18 uh, names are there it is displayed now what happens the user can use any one of the theme and dynamically let the user be allowed to change it how we will do that so for that we will create a set of radio buttons now let me just remove this this is for our understanding only print commands are not required here we we have sorry but this variable will be storing you know this is the theme what you are using now what i will do i will store it to a string variable my my str or my str is a string variable i am creating ttk dot string var now this string var while creating itself i can create a blank one but i will give a default value to it the value whatever i am creating i am assigning to it is what is the current theme that value use put it here so value is equal to fine so now what happens now this string variable holds the name of the currently used theme so that is my purpose why i am doing this We'll shortly discuss that. Now, what happens is here our purpose is to show a set of radio buttons so user can click and select the corresponding thing. But here one point is I am not going to manually create 19. Though the list says here, sorry, 18 uh, themes are there. I am not going to create one by one, one radio button, then one theme, one next radio button, value is another theme, next radio button, another value. No, it's not like that. I will use a loop 
for that i am saying for values is a variable only in my themes what is my themes my themes is the contains the list of all the themes so i'll just write it here so you can list of all list of available themes so these are all the list of all available themes now here i am creating dynamically the set of radio buttons ttk dot radio button now where this will be placed my underscore w this is my parent window i am giving now what should be the text written on that text is i am taking value values why i am giving the values because this values is a variable every time one 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 value from the list here at the bottom one one next one next one like that it will take so i am assigning the values here then i am saying variable variable equal to what is the variable in in this case is my str for all the things i am assigning a common variable why common a radio button is sorry a set of radio button must have a common variable then only it can be a set because one at a time we can select whereas for a check button multiple selection is possible so all our radio button will have a common variable my str what is my str here we have declared it as a string variable and this string variable also we have given one initial var why we have given that initial value is because that radio button what is currently uh, theme is used should be on selected mode so that is the purpose of it that now that will automatically will happen i am not doing anything for that now what happens once the radio button is selected what should be its value this value equal to values what is this value this value is the option and this values is the what i am getting it from here, from the list so on rotation 1111 it will create the radio button and assign the values to it now one more thing i am left with command so what happens when i am clicking that radio button lambda i am telling it and run the function my update okay i am not declared it my update my radio button is ready now i have to place it on a grid so for that i will say b dot grid now where i will place it because these are dynamically created so one to the one i will place the next button will be right of it so for that i cannot assign one two three four like that i have to use variables for that so for that i have i will declare two variables before using it i am saying that r comma c equal to zero zero what is this mean is two variables just r you mean is rows c is for columns i am not instead of writing such thing just remember r and c i am setting it to zero so r equal to zero c equal to zero r is rows c is the column so fine that is why the names we have used are easy to remember now here what i am doing is this row equal to r and column equal to c so first uh, radio button this will be my Zero zero, it will take the values. Now I am not flushing with the left edge. Slightly is bottom. There is a pad x horizontal. There will be a gap, and from the top also I am giving a gap of twenty. So pad x is five. Pad y. This is the gap from the top and from the left right. So nearest next radio button there will be a gap, little gap. So you can change this gap whatever you want. But inside a loop, what I have to do is every time I loop it, I will write c equal to c plus one. hope you can understand it why i am writing increase column by 1 what happens one first column at 0 next column is 1 next column is 1 next eh, sorry 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 like that it will one after the to the right of the radio button next radio button next radio button it will come but one thing is there there are nine radio buttons are there everything goes sorry the total my requirement will be around uh, 18 so one by one 18 i cannot place it on a one row so while i have to give a line break so i want the, for that row has to increase initial every one is row is equal to 0 no row, after placing first nine buttons let the row be equal to 1 so for that what i will say if c column increases to 8 means eight buttons are placed if it is more than eight if it is ninth one what you do r and c equal to r plus 1 and this you make it zero because column should start from zero row increase go to next row and start the column from zero this will take care of that 
i hope this logic uh, is okay with you just think it is a horizontally one after the right of it we are placing but moment we reach the eighth one night next one will come to the next line but here one thing is i have we have so far not declared my update now let me declare my update so i am giving a function here my update and setting it pass okay pass i am doing it because i just so far whatever we have written is it correct or not we'll just test it once so i am just saved it running once and see what it is yes you can see all my radio buttons have come up one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine nine eighteen two rows have come up you can see here the two rows because of this one two rows. no i want three rows so i'll reduce it then change this value let's just do that so for our understanding if this is say um, after four let me say divide it then r equal to r plus 1 so now let's see how many rows are coming up you can see more rows have come up so this is the purpose how you break it and all these are created dynamically so now i have back to 8 now you see instead of manually for each theme one one radio button inside a for loop i have created and once i am clicking any of the button so this is what the condition it has to satisfy now you may ask me why why this what will happen if this condition is to uh, is to be satisfied here now once this function is there while well, simple one liner for this my underscore w style dot theme use which theme to be used i can also define or i can ask it use now i am saying that what is the theme you the user has selected that is nothing but here you can see the string variable we have get it now once i select a radio button the value will be picked up and that will be stored on this so for that i am saying this theme uses my str and get because it's a string variable so i have to get the value by using get if i want to say assign some value then i have to use set before the string variable the same one i am doing so whatever the radio button user has clicked that radio button you pick up the value and apply that theme so this this value attributes will be of that radio button will be picked up now let's see this demo then we'll go for widgets here it is now i am just clicking something you just see all the themes are changing now again here i am so because every time i'm i'm clicking a radio button one different theme is applied you want that what is applied should be mentioned here you can do that anyway this text is that only sandstone suppose i picked up these are all dark themes okay now we'll add some widgets we'll place some widgets so the theme can be applied to that so for that let me just reduce this space and okay now we'll let's first manage the rows and columns for that so column and row equal to now we will start from the left most so we will assign the column a zero value and whatever the row value is let's increase by one so next row it will go so for that we have given this now after this we'll create a for loop why i am creating a for loop because there are eight different styles are there so or it may be different whatever the styles are available let's the same widget with different styles will place it in one row next row will go for one more widget and on different styles will apply so for that let's first start with a button with all the styles so we'll have suppose eight styles are there then eight buttons will be there each one with a one style so for that for my style this is a variable i am using in my underscore w is my parent window style colors so these are the colors now this gives me a list of style colors available so i will just comment it here write list of styles style colors whatever inside that i am just placing a button anyway in detail we will discuss about how these wizards work and all all this thing so now i am just see for, for a button and this button also my underscore w now the text what is written on that is what is this variable and the boot style this parameter we are assigning it to the my styles again this variable then we are placing it on the grid row c but here one one thing is uh, we have to keep on incrementing our column so one will be right of one sorry this would be equal to c plus one so next one will next button will be another style 
and write of it. So column will increment and this my style data value will be taken one by one from the list. Now in the same fashion we can add more widgets but let's just see how this up to this point how it works. So you should have a yes you can see the set of button these buttons are taken five six seven eight eight are there and this list only from the list these buttons are dynamically created and C value increases column value so one goes after that one. Now let me just change it and watch the buttons how they are changing. It's not a valid theme. Something theme I have did a mistake somewhere. Okay let me just change it again. String object valid is not a valid theme. My str get something I made. Oh, I messed up this one. I have two brackets I missed. Okay. Now this is fine. Let's just run once and see. I have full to okay. Now I am able to, yeah, I am able to change the themes. You see the button colors are also, this set of buttons have come because of this for loop, whatever you are. Now let's just add few more widgets, two widgets we are adding and I will just pasting this. A anyway, in detail we will uh, discuss about this widgets. This see at the end I am increasing the column. So one column first, all the three widgets, there are three widgets you can see. The next one is another button with the outline button I have added. The next one is a meter. So this meter, anyway meter is a is a new in the our TTK bootstrap, is a useful one. We will discuss more about that. And a fly Flood gauge also we have put it. These two things we are separately will discuss. Uh, let me just give a back gap here. So fine. So these two. Now let's uh, run this. Yeah, here it is. I'm just. You can see the this particular one is our uh, uh, outline one. Then uh, uh, then this uh, meter one, and then this our whatever flood gauge we are using. Now I am just changing the theme. You can see here. It is applied to all the. Uh, widgets whatever we have placed it here and these widgets are created using all the available styles here in the system so this is how our we can manage the themes and if you can pick up a particular theme whatever you want like it and the entire source code is available for you to download the link is at the description so next we'll move to and explore some widgets in this whatever how this TTK bootstrap handles the widgets and all so that will be hope it will you like it and interesting one I'll request you please Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.